guys and welcome back to my channel. This way. <laughs> this way. As you probably have watched my last two previous vlogs, we just came back from Stockholm, Copenhagen, and Rosa here kindly watched Kobe. He's off frame over here somewhere. So as always, we decided that we wanted to do a Canadians try Swedish and Danish candy. I may have already tested a couple of them. No, no you said you weren't gonna try any. Preemptively, because I, I have a sweet tooth and I really want to try some stuff. So I opened one of them just to eat. You also ate it too. You Did ate I? it. Oh, it was there. Yeah. Wow. Um, we ate it while we were there, but we haven't tried anything else yet. We okay. brought it all back here. And I do want to preface something to you guys that candy in Sweden and Copenhagen, Denmark, is extremely, extremely expensive. Actually, I think Copenhagen was more expensive than Sweden was. So if you guys Everything are, is expensive. Everything's expensive there in general. Not just candy. Yeah, everything. But if you do want to do a candy haul like this, I would recommend doing it in Sweden first because it's about like... 20% more expensive in Copenhagen and this stuff is literally like 100% more expensive than what it is here in North America So like a chocolate bar on average if you're not going to a cheap place is like almost four or five dollars. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah We spent like $300 on chocolate candy. Bar. Like an average size like mini bar yeah, like yeah. this oh, dang. So I was like, mm, okay, yeah. well, we're not gonna be able to buy that much So, you so might... we only have one chocolate bar for the top <laughs> No, there's a little bit more than that this time, <laughs> but it's not just all bags and bags of chocolate like last time when I came Are back Are there savory things? Uh, Are there? I don't mm. think so. Oh my I think there's just like to. one that's not really like a savory thing, but it's not chocolate. Okay. Uh, that's not the answer at all. You'll find out. You'll find out. All so right. Don't worry. All okay, right. so we're gonna dive right in to this bag full of goodies, and you guys can watch our reactions for Canadians trying Swedish and Danish candy. So Rosa's gonna start first. Eyes closed. Why? Or just put your hands in. Don't Eyes look. Eyes closed. Jeez. <laughs> put your head in. Take out the first one. So and I'll tell you with um, I'll tell you which one she takes out if it's Swedish or Danish. Lion white. Ooh, this I is feel like, like this will be good. Which one do you think? Is this Swedish or Danish? Swedish. Oh, this is Danish. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know what the difference is. So okay, so you get I apologize for my. Ignorance oh wait, wait, to show them what it looks like. So this is number one. This is called Lion, and we got this one in Copenhagen. Sad face. Should we describe to, to them what it is? Oh, I guess it doesn't really say. I don't think you can read that though. Nope. Just open it and try it. <laughs> it's a lion. Once you eat it, you become fierce. Oh yeah? Like DJ Khaled. Yes. Lion. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? It's like, are you gonna show them the texture of it? This is what the texture of lion white looks like. It's like coated in white chocolate, but it's like bumpy. I don't know how I feel about this. Do you like it? I'll wait to get you my reaction. Good job, just Whoa. trying to cheat. It looks like an old Henry bar, but with white chocolate. But it doesn't have peanut. That's not peanut? Mm -mm. God damn. Hmm. Reaction? It's not pink. Is it like Rice Krispies, like a rice puff? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's incredible. I am about it. You like that one? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, so, so far, everybody's verdict. It was like, is it caramel? Or like mm -hmm. a nougat or something? Mm -hmm. It's caramel. It's just caramel. There's no nougat. With it's like caramel puff? with, you know, with like rice puffs around it and then like a coating of White chocolate. white chocolate. It was light though, which I liked. It's not, yeah. I didn't feel like it was like sickeningly sweet. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that sweet. Which you usually kind of get when it comes to white chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah. I would have preferred if it had like some sort of salty aspect to it. Oh like my God. peanuts. I agree. That's why I was excited for peanuts. <laughs> but there was an interesting like taste in there that kind of reminded me of Asian candy. Like there's something, is it, is it rabbit candy? A little bit. It had like a weird, it wasn't like a chocolate sweet. It was like something else sweet in it, mm. like florally. I can tell what it was. I don't think so, man. I just yeah. taste the caramel. Like light okay. caramel. Well, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs yeah. up? Yeah, I'm excited. Thumbs up too. <laughs> Yay! Three to three for Lion White. Okay, next one. Your turn. Your box. <laughs> <laughs> Try and read it. <laughs> read it loud. Oh, oh yeah. Knackers? Where do you think we got this one from? Uh, this looks like something you get at, at Ikea. So I feel like it's going to be... It was not an Ikea one. I know, but like the packaging reminds me of Ikea. Actually, Peter purchased a bag of Dame... <laughs> Dame chocolate. Dame chocolate. In Sweden? Yeah. Yeah. At the duty-free store for his family. I was like, you know you can buy this Did exact same thing oh, like, like the one in Canada. You know what's difficult about this? What? It has Swedish and Danish on this. Wait, how do you know? S-E-N-D-K, bro. Oh. No. Well, wouldn't it be Swedish first because... It's yeah, I also called. packed this, so I remember. What was it called? Nyakus? <laughs> Yakers? I don't know. Number two is Yakers. What do you think this is? The cookies, bruh. I don't know. Peppermint. Okay. Huh? You open the pepper. It oh. says... Pepper cacor. I feel like it's gonna be ginger-ish tasting. 
Oh it no, looks, Kobe wants it though. It looks like it a is. ginger cookie almost. They might be dog cookies. Do we eat there that one? Yep. Don't eat it yet. Oh, interesting. They're very thin. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, you ready? Three. Oh, they they just smell like two. Ginger. One. Mm-hmm. Don't tease the dog. Okay, what do you think? It tastes like a ginger cookie. I won't lie. Mel bought something similar already. I've had so much ginger cookie over the past she two bought, weeks. She bought like heart shaped ones. Um, and I boxed it had like 200 of them in it. Yo, she bought wow. like, the box was legit like this big. I'm just Like eat. full. Of ginger cookies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For herself? I don't know why she bought them. <laughs> why did she buy them? I, I, I just came home and I saw them. I hope you want to use them as props to her heart. Oh. oh. But they also just taste good. Actually, I like these because they're so thin. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. we were eating them, we dipped some of them in coffee. Mm. And it actually tasted really good because like kind of crumbled in your mouth. I don't know. I just like that the fact that they're so um, crispy. Yeah. I feel you like should have had good. coffee with us. Oh, yeah. I mean, or hot chocolate. Yeah, you love coffee. Try that next. We'll try that next. Okay, number three. <laughs> sniff coffee. Oh my god, man. There's like four <laughs> options in okay. there. Come on. Next one is something called Oreo Marabu. Marabu. It says, mmm, sedan. 1916. Okay. What? Mmm, <laughs> I think car. we can all assume what that means. means. Car? No, since. Oh. Car. Okay, that. Oh, it's also Coco Life certified. I don't know what that means, but. You didn't think that sedan means since? No. Of course it means that. What else would it mean? Car. <laughs> Four door car. <laughs> okay, so the reason I actually picked this one is because there's this girl that I follow that lives in Europe that posted a picture of Marabu about a week or two before we went. And I was like, oh, I want to try it. And she said she really missed it when she was in like Sweden or Denmark or something like that. So I was like, okay. This is the next one that we're trying, guys. It's called Marabu and it has Oreos in it. Oh, it kind of reminds me of um, Rolo? Men oh. Rolo, yeah, Mentos too. Ooh. What the hell? It's like little chonks. Here you go. Here you go. It looks like um, an anti acid. <laughs> like kind of, or like um, a giant, what is the candy called? Rockets. Tums. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rockets or Tums. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. I like it. It actually reminds me of the Oreo Kinder Buenos that we had last year, or the ones we've eaten before, but not as sweet. You want the hard truth? What? These are nothing to rave about. I love Oreos, though. So. These are nothing to rave about. There's like barely any like Oreo. Oreo. There's like no cookie in there. Yeah, there's the crunchy bits. Yeah, no, no, it's like 95% chocolate. This one's meh. This is the worst one by far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, tell your YouTuber to get together, man. So we're on to number four now. How many things are in here? I don't remember. I think nine. Ooh, what is this? Cough drops? Piglin. Pigilin. Pigilin. I don't know. Piglet. Peglin. I feel like they do look like cough drops. Pidgeotto. I actually don't know what this is. I saw this in... um. Pidgey. Sweden. Are you gonna show it This is the number four that we're trying called P Pigellin? Pigellin? Drop. So I got this one actually in a 7 Eleven, I think. I don't know, man. We spend a lot of time in 7 Eleven. We went to 7 Eleven a lot in both students. Watch, these are actually cough drops. Well, that's I bet you they are. They look like <laughs> cough drops. A little bit. Should we no, eat them last? candy people. What? So? It's also owned by Unilever. Ooh. So? Okay, just open it. I'm Yo, Unilever owns like soap too. You wanna eat soap? Yeah. I've done it. They kind of look like. Gum. Are they mushy? No, they're hard. Oh, it's oh, like hard, man. hard AF. No, I feel like once it's like you put it into your mouth, it'll like be soft. Though. Okay, one, they're two, little three. Little green chunks. Go. Oh. I like it. What does that taste? Apple? Mhm. Mm I feel like it's a mix between apple and something. Pear? Mm, maybe. It's got the yeah. It's got that like pear apple taste, but. It's pretty good. Now we have to suck on this. <laughs> You're just gonna bite it? Oh, inside it's like fizzy. Isn't it fizzy? It feels fizzy to me. Nope. Oh, but there's little bubble things on it. Your yeah. tongue is broken. I feel like it's um... Hard boiled candy with a powder filling. It says follow us on social media. It doesn't say what their accounts are. It fizzes almost like a pop rocket. Mm-hmm. Citric acid, malic acid, flavor, colors. <laughs> it doesn't tell us what flavor this is. Oh, this is the one that we already tried. Oh, gross. <laughs> no, you gotta eat this one. No, I don't have to. I already ate it. So this is the next one that we're trying. It's marzipan. It's open because we already tried it when we were there because I was really craving candy. We got this one actually in Copenhagen. Yeah. So we've already both tried it. So it's You tried both try. flavors? Yeah. Oh no, they're all the same flavors, just different colors. So you guys aren't gonna try it with me on screen. We've already tried it, so? It's better if it's just you. I'm still eating the other one too. What do you think of this? That's gross. Yeah, that's the exact reaction I had. <laughs> it's almond. I came into the room one day and it's like, ooh, candy! <laughs> <Bleh>. <laughs> I 
It's actually really like you don't even want to finish it. It's that gross. Yeah, no. I feel like it's one of those things where like at initial taste it doesn't taste too good, but if you eat more of it, you get used to it and you kind of start to like it. Yeah, but do you want to have to get used to candy? Yeah, but like that's. I don't want things to have to grow on me. You know, I just want it. Enjoy like durian. It. I, durian didn't grow on me. I liked it. I actually Went don't hate it. You want more? I, I kind of do. Ew. Oh my god! Look, keep, keep Both of us diet. hated this. It's like almond flavored marzipan or if marzipan is made with almond flour. Well, you really like it, eh? Keep the bag. So it's almost like a cake pop. The bag. Take this home. This is yours to you keep the life. Mm -hmm. no? Okay. Okay. On to the next one. Wait, is this six? This is six now. Okay, so I have oh, lion. God. Black and oh. black white. Oh. See, look at it. This, what? It says black white on it. The next one, number six, is lion, black white. So we have another lion bar. This is a Nestle bar, I think. So it's another white coated thing. I what guess. Are we, what are you waiting for? Right it now? might be like no, because I wanted to see the photo and it looked different. Oh, never mind. I like no, it. It, looks it looks like a cookies and cream. I think situation. they use yeah, it does. Like, like chocolate rice puffs. Mm, it was all white. Of, yeah. I still have a pigeon drop in my mouth. Ew. Ew. That's disgusting. I can't finish melting. Is this one salty? Or is the cookie bit that's making it feel a little bit a salty? A little bit. I like it. The white one is better. I like this one better, I think. This is like a cookies and cream one. Mm -hmm. This is more Oreo than the Marabu Oreo was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Marabu was not good. I liked it. Gross. Yeah, this one tastes more like Oreo. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely like the Oreo Kinder thing that we got. Number seven, this is Rosa. Another lion. Yep. <gasps> this oh. one has peanut in it. Oh my god, finally. Mm, this one I feel like I will enjoy the most. I got <clears> a bunch <throat> of lion bars because they're all cheap. Oh really? These are like $2 each. Week. Oh, I'll okay. show them. Oh yeah. This number seven that we're trying, it's lion Meatballs. peanut. Watch all the Danes who watch this and be like, oh, you're so poor eating these poor people candies. Poor chocolates. It's all I could afford. Everything was so expensive. I refuse to pay four or five dollars for a bar of chocolate. You should not be paying that much for it. This also, did you know their like, tax mm -hmm. there is twenty five percent? Really? It's so expensive. I thought our tax was bad. Do you have to tip? No, no. you don't tip there. Mm. <laughs> That's the best one so far. Yeah. And it tastes like O Henry, which is like my favorite chocolate bar. So, but is there peanut or peanut taste? Peanut. There's peanuts in it. But it's not as crunchy as an O Henry is. Probably like smaller. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like halfway between No Henry and a Mr. Big. I don't think I've ever had a Mr. Big. <gasps> the we talked about this last time, I feel like. You're missing out. We should Mr. just Big buy a bunch of candy for you to eat. Like Canadian try Canadian candy. Yeah, I Canadian told you. Canadian candy. Conception. Dollarama candy, <laughs> man. Dollarama candy. Oh, oh, actually, someone told me recently that there was like this chocolate at Dollarama that they sell. and it's Cookies and cream. No, and it's only 50 cents and it's Kit so Kat. good. No. It's not like a regular one. Oh, it's one of those fake Dollarama candy things, I guess. Because Dollarama, like, they have a bunch of candy yeah, yeah. that's imitation like of real stuff. candy, but the packaging looks the exact same. They just change the name of it. No, it doesn't look like any other chocolate, though. Glossettes. No, that's a brand. Smarties. Stop. Okay, you're trying to pick the next one. <laughs> okay, last one. On to you. I think it's number eight. Is this the last one? It is the last one. Mm hmm. You ready? Ta! Was there like a buy three get one free deal? No, <laughs> they just had like a bunch of them. It's convenient. No, it was a buy four become extra poor. The last one we're trying is a lion, and this is the regular one. There's no weird taste to this one. But are you saying the other ones have weird? Taste? Oh, extra crispy. Extra it's crispy. extra crispy. No, like the original lion. Oh, so like milk chocolate. Probably. I don't know. I've never had a lion before. Have you eaten lion? No. I don't eat lion. Tigers, bears. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you open it so we can try it, please? Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Open it so we can eat it. If it is still Black Friday sales when you're watching this, get Disney Plus. It's on sale. Only if you wrap on time. Can you not talk with your mouth full? That's so inappropriate. <laughs> only if you wrap on time. I'm just He said only through Rakuten. You can get, what is it? 12% mm -hmm. back? Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. 12% mm -hmm. back? No, it's $12 off. Get it together, Vic. Mm hmm. Oh, their eyes. I actually like this one than the peanut one. Our haul was literally just like five lion bars. <laughs> yeah, only really four. Are you right? serious? There were four of them. You couldn't even change it up? I did. I got gingerbread cookies. You gonna buy a bag of chips? Mm hmm. Chips are expensive. No, they weren't. But they were. I was with you. Why didn't you buy one of them? Because you're supposed to. This is your haul. Anyways, stop the extra crispy lion. That's okay. It's whatever. If you had to rank the four lines that we had, we had lion peanut. Lion white, lion peanut black, number white, one. peanut. And then extra crispy. Peanut. Peanut number one. Okay. Black white. Yeah, black white. White. Okay. Extra crispy. White. Uh, yeah. Same really? Peter. Got you. What do you mean really? Is there another option? What's yours? I think white is number one. Extra crispy, black white, and then peanut. You're gross. You're like complete opposite of what we chose. No, you're actually <laughs> gross. Sorry. <laughs> 
But that's... Do you actually feel like that or are you just trolling? No, I actually do feel like that. You that's rank gross. peanut number three? Four. Four? Four? I like the peanut, but I wish the peanut pieces were chunkier like an actual old Henry. Like I wish they were bigger. I felt like I just got the taste of peanut, but with no satisfaction of chewing on a peanut. No, like, but you have the satisfaction of ch chewing on the crispy things. No, chewing on foam versus chewing on a peanut is very different things. <laughs> So but why does that sure. why does that make it four? Because I liked it the least out of all of them. Huh. Interesting. I feel like your logic is skewed. Yes. Whatever. My preference is I can have opinions, guys. No, you can't. <laughs> you yes. can't have opinions. Can I am allowed <laughs> opinions. Only if they're the right ones. Yeah. And you have wrong opinions, madam. Anyway, so out of everything besides the lion one, which was your absolute favorite and the least favorite out of everything that we've eaten? Probably the lion. Not the marzipan? You ate multiple pieces of the marzipan. Well, that's because it's one of those things where you have to try like multiple to see if you actually like it or not. Gross. You don't. I knew right off the bat if I liked it or not. Yeah, it was nasty. Man. Okay, so uh, lion, which lion? Peanut lion? Yeah. Okay, and then what was your least favorite? Least favorite was probably probably the marzipan. Really? Even though, <laughs> even though I'm gonna eat it still. This makes no sense. Out of all the things she did, no, that like, means she that's likes them all. Least. I like them enough to eat them. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would gravitate towards the peanut one the most. What about you? Most favorite and then least favorite? Most favorite are those drops. Really? The the cough the drops. They're not cough drops. There's the no menthol drops. or eucalyptus in them at all. There is in my heart. <laughs> you have serious problem. <laughs> okay, uh, and then least favorite? That stuff. Whatever the it is. The marzipan? Yeah. That, that is disgusting. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm in the same boat as him too. I like those pigellin pig pig drops the most just because I like sweet stuff. Would you categorize those the chocolate bars as savory s because it's not 100 sweet. no 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 they're still so, chocolate bars yeah they're okay. no matter what so guys sweet. i don't actually like chocolate that much <clears throat> neither do i so That's i like I the pigellin drops i'm really hating all these hauls that you're doing i'm sorry i'll make a conscious effort to do more savory stuff next time let's see if i can try I to be back i said that already ship. yeah like maybe when you go to asia no, when we go back to Asia, that's a whole other level of candy. <laughs> that's a whole other level, I feel like. You need a separate suitcase for treats. Yep. And food is cheaper bring back, there. like, random sponge cakes covered in, like, mm. icing and stuff. But I think, yeah, for me, same thing with favorite was the pajelan drops, and least favorite was the marzipan. Primarily because I already tried them before this, and they, they kind of tasted nasty. Okay, what if you didn't choose that one? If I didn't choose that one, then my least favorite... Probably the peanut lion. Sorry! My opinions are valid! <laughs> my opinions are valid, guys! <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching our Canadians Try Swedish and Danish Candy. Thank you, Rosa, for coming along and trying out the candy that I brought back. I will make a conscious effort to not buy so much chocolate next time. Yes. Particularly because our next trip is going to be Asia, so I think there's definitely going to be a lot more different types of candy for us to purchase then. And shrimp chips. I'm not buying you shrimp chips. Asia, we can buy them from here. That makes no sense. <laughs> no, but maybe they have specialty <clears throat> flavor. What do you I mean, you bought chocolate. Chips? And yeah. we can buy chocolate here too. Fine. We've had like, what have, we've tried some weird chips before, like even cucumber flavor or peach flavored Lay's before. And those were good. Oh, those are really good. Those are really peach good. Peach ones are nice. I'm actually really looking forward to getting candy from Asia. I feel like it's going to be good. I feel like I should be also And you can get a lot more anything. for whatever you pay for. Yeah, because it's dirt cheap there. Yeah. So stay tuned for that one. We're not going to be going until I think... February though, so there's quite a bit of time, so don't keep an eye out yet, <laughs> but keep an eye out eventually. But other than that, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed our reactions and our take on Canadians eating Danish and Swedish candy. We will see you guys in the next video.